Okay, um, what we have here is, uh, because I've got a good day, I wanted to do an experiment with the uh, ground pumping system. As you see, we have uh, one cable going out, the other coming in, and again, going out and coming in, so I can take uh, that uh, AC produced that's going into the ground, uh, and I'm going to bring it back through to the rectifier, into the uh, DC capacitor, through a um, yeah a diode back into the uh, run battery and see if I can hold the power there. The idea is to see if we can if we can sort a capacitor with the same standard as the uh, input battery. Then um, I think we have something here. On one side, basically the same setup. Sorry, uh, input into the pulse width modulator. Uh, through to the ZVS, we split um, after we come out through the oscillation in the bifiler. We have one uh, CT coming out, um, going into the ground uh, from one. I don't know if you can see it here. From one side, it's going directly into the ground. The other side is coming out through a 100 watt halogen and then going into the ground. Uh, this side is purely um, collecting, or we're using the energy to power the LED, it's a 5 watt. Um, what was interesting is that um, the power seems to be increasing. Um, I'll see if, uh, if we can make it happen again. So we have... course we want to make a measurement of the input is 1290 uh, one as you can see we're bouncing quite a bit um, and turn the system on you can hear so we have the lighting and uh, so this is the real um, indicator what's going on I see where we have um, uh, something like one volt that was powering the system now we're slowly increasing uh, the same is happening uh, of course it's coming back through the DC which is coming back in through to the battery but if uh, if we can come over the beginning input voltage it should show that uh, we're gaining a little it's not very good uh, to be able to see that Increasing and uh, lighting still for brightness. So, again, just while it's increasing, go through the setup again. We have the 12 volt input through to a pulse width modulator, out through the ZVS, through into a uh, bifiler setup from one side, going back into the ZVS. Uh, we collect from this CT uh, toroid ring. Uh, one side of it is going out um, directly into the ground. From that ground, we're coming 
uh, back in to the AC side of the uh, rectifier. From the other side, we're going out through this 100 watt halogen light back into the ground. Again, from the same point, we're coming back in through to the rectifier. Through uh, rectification to DC, uh, from the DC side, we're going in uh, through a diode back into the run battery. That's a little better. Still running okay. System is slowing. But, uh, yeah, we're not using an extremely large amount of power for this lighting setup. I think we are losing as the system uh, the system's also um, warming up so we are using some energy there just an overview if you want to take a screenshot of what I'm doing Again, we have uh, in out, in out, using the ground uh, to try and hold some of the energy, rather like a large capacitor. Quite interesting, a little bit boring looking at this uh, meter but uh, still climbing slowly. I still have full lighting, it's the middle of the day we are, just to show you these uh, are fully lit. System seems okay. Not too warm. Um Please post your comments. I'd like some feedback on this. Thank you for watching.